Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. All right, hello, we're back. We we had a bug bug splat, uh, so we're just gonna restart this one. Mm. Hello, we're casting some Company of Heroes two today. Indeed, once again, standing up. I'd say I like stand up shout casting. Um, it's helpful that I have a job that involves me standing for large periods of the day because it's like it's not weird to just be standing in one spot playing at video games. Legs don't get tired. It's good. So. Well, while we're standing up, do you have a stand-up comedy routine you've been practicing oh, you'd like my, to share with us? <laughs> uh, my, my only comedy is sit down, mate. Um, I put a chair up on stage and, and I do my work from there, so I, I got nothing for you. Oh. Um, again, I'll have to come up with something. As I came up with the Company of Heroes 2 rap, I'll have to come up with a, yeah, uh, pretty a good. sit down routine now. So yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. M10 going in. Gonna win when I do a spin. Trash in your infantry. Well, I mean, if if you want to do a really good stand-up according to Netflix and Amazon Prime and you want to get featured on their homepage, mm. just, like, make it a feminist rant about how men sucks and then you'll get featured on awesome. front page of Netflix. Yeah. But does it, does it hurt my case that I'm a straight white man? Like, is it even possible for me to get it on It depends Netflix how self-flagellating you are. Uh, okay, right. That's interesting. I think this is where you bug splattered before. But, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it seems, it seems okay, which is good. Rifles uh, have been baited by the Kugel. I mean, in fact, run into false grenades as true by it is. Not the ideal walk in the park. Loses a couple of models there. Um, something very inventive for this uh, blue AKW's name. Uh, how about we call him Bluey, the Blue Whale? No? Hmm. What do you got for me? I was going to say something, but it was kind of dank. I was going to say, like, Wuhan. Oh, <laughs> buddy. I, here, I, I'm going to get up a random name generator. What we should do is, like... Yeah, that's, that's politically a, neutral. Run Good. a random name generator. Random... Also, Cashman, he's locked in the, um... Generator. What is it? Support? Tactical support. So he's going to have those LMGs. Uh, so they're pretty ooh, good. This is this is cool. Would you like a, a, a first name, or would you like a... Uh, I can also get you a... Also... Well, you're not missing much. You're missing a Kubel shooting at Echelon. We're going with Gibson, as it turns out. Gibson. I was going to say, I could have got you a fantasy name instead of uh, like a, a, just a regular first name, which I'm assuming just draws from a dumb book. Could have gotten you a like fantasy Tolkien name. Just like Tolkiennames.com. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Gibson, the, uh, the OKW. Alright. Gibson. I see I missed very little. 50-50 map control. So, yeah, yeah. Well, there was there was an echelon squad here, but aside from that, we have the riflemen there are going for the the cutoff, uh, which can be pretty deadly because the right side doesn't have any points connected to it. So mm. that's all. We're a Actually, point. they changed the map. This point used to be included in that cutoff. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit less brutal now, which is nice. Yeah, cutoffs are we're, we're like. Completely insane. I think this like l at least leaving one point connected to your base seems seems pretty good. So. Yep. Um, and, and still certainly strategic enough to take without literally taking all of your opponent's income. So. Um, Especially in Company of Heroes One, where your pop cap was tied to. Oof. Point. That was really dumb. You lose your yeah. cutoff, and then you're like, well, I can't. can't build I can't anymore. build this tank that I need yeah. because I have no, no pop cap. Okay, now there's they're pretty far off getting AT grenades, but. Kubel is getting bursted down, nonetheless. Still gonna get melted by the rifles, so fair enough. Left hand here for Cashman. Makes sense. Uh, three Volskren build means you just want more infantry presence on the map. Very reasonable choice. Whoa! Oh, that was just the actual one that died. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Uh, maybe <laughs> I like it. squad yeah, white, but it's like, oh, it was just echelon. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an eventuality at some point in the first five minutes of the game. They're going to just get white by vampires or something. So Just yeah. a major. You know, who cares? Yeah. Nothing, no, not a big deal. Um, well, 50 cals, so pretty strong. Good map for it as well. Just yeah, got yeah. some nice buildings for the 50 cal. It's a nice open map. Yeah, limited garrisons, but they are strong garrisons, which are, which are ideal for those MG positions. Yeah, that's true. Not having this one anymore. But still, you have this one, which is pretty good. Yeah. Although it is kind of far back. I think they have a little bit of defensive plays. It was being oh, that's annoying. a bazooka. Oh, no, he retreated, so he can, didn't get a, some sneaky zook shots off. All right, we, we have the truck on. Yeah, it's a battle group. Yeah, very, very safe battle group as well. So. Uh, 
Um, I guess that makes sense. It's gonna start taking. Gibson's gonna start taking some trades. These Velsquads are gonna be forced off. Kind of the. It's a good natural flow of the game, so it's kind of a good read. It's like you, you push up and your opponents are gonna be closer to their reinforcing, closer to their healing, and just start taking worse and worse engagements. So it's nice timing in the battle group to get the medics up. Still taking very favorable trades on the way back, though. Well, there's the Vet 1, but that's the, the back squad, fortunately, yep. for that Kubel. Bit too much of a range differential there. Riflemen seem very happy trading health veterancy here. Taking down the, the Kubel, and will be, of course be an Ambo coming up for Cashman, not really another option. Yeah, he did go the the uh, unlock. Oh, okay. But... Oh, Ambo, right. So he could go to M20 if he wants it. Yeah. He probably wants to go for a Stuart. Yeah. I think the map. Yeah, I mean, you, you could have gone for an M20 at the cost of keeping all of your infantry squads in your base because <laughs> they have no That's health. True. So I was like, yeah, I feel like that that uh, that overall choice loses map pressure. Uh, so I dig it. That makes sense. For Will be the first time this 50 cal's been properly revealed, at least in this position. Just a little bit of it. So forced off A squad. Gibson does at least know it's there. Now the next squad should be a Raketten. Gibson. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just not the OKW. That's a I can't. I can't do it, Blake. You don't like it? Fuck, man. I, well, you should, I mean, I knew you didn't like Gibson. Oh, you look at this, though. Hang on. Can't you just say you don't like Gibson, and then I could have got you another name? So. That's, yeah. Yeah. Now, he's actually using the, the... Wait, detection? Yeah, I guess it just increased the sight range. So he's actually able to sight the HMD. This is really sick use of this Kubel. Because it he, he means that he uh, was able to flank that. Forces the HMG off. I, I was worried because I thought the 50 cal was just going to start firing at the Kubel as, he, as it blindly charged into its arc and then horribly gets murdered. But yeah, you don't always see uh, that ability be used. It's one of those abilities that people just don't use all the time. You know, there's a lot of commander abilities like that that people just forget about. Yeah. Rapper name, pen name, where's OKW name? This is <laughs> useless there, website. So. There isn't yeah. a preset box for OKW yeah. <laughs> players. I really think there should be. So. Yeah. I should be able to fill in a box that says hobbies and interests, and it's like, I don't know, <laughs> enjoys, uh, enjoys SDGs or like... Favourite yeah. commander yeah. tactical support company. Yeah, yeah, there we go, favourite commander tactical support. Oh, yeah, man, I'll give you a name, so... Well, he has the M20 in the end, mm. so maybe he's just really annoyed about this Kubel. Possible. Doesn't quite it's have the fuel late. either, so it's still... Cause it, it's, it's 70 fuel for that Stuart, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like so yeah. He, he would it would be quite delayed for some time. And here we go. Now he's scaring off this Kubel and it's definitely going to die. Yeah, yeah, it's going to kill it. So, um, I guess the, uh, the veterans are too scary enough for him to run it down. And it, I guess it forces Kubel as well from our OKW friend. Before Kubel wasn't actually forced. Uh, sorry, uh, Raketon wasn't actually forced. Um, now it is. So, it's understandable. Mm. But yeah, this is kind of the, the, the punishment for, like, not taking into the Raketon. You really should have just built one at this point. Americans are making a push. Yeah, he just must have been assuming that there was a steward and yeah. thought he had more time. He's also going for the flak half track, so uh, probably only going for that given that there wasn't a steward. So. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Just insta went into it as soon as he saw the steward. So, sorry, as soon as he saw the M20, so that makes sense. Oh, he could have also gone the half track. Yeah. What have they got? Uh, just the... I think it's empty. But you can get, those, the 50 cal. You can right. get that quad upgrade though, can't you? It's the Soviet one. Right, 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 right. I bet, I bet he could have put the, the lieutenant with the, the bazooka in it. That was, yeah. Uh, also could have gone Google hunting, so. It's like the bazooka bus, you see. That, that's that's kind of a meme. Mm -hmm. Actually pretty effective. It's like a, a clown car, but with bazookas. <laughs> so, in, ca in case it wasn't clear what a bazooka bus was. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about the... Whoa, that was a raquette and I mean, I followed it, so... Uh, not, not to mistake with the battle bus from Zero Hour, which is full of RPGs. And Jarman, and... I don't know. Maybe a Toxin Rebel to clear garrisons. Yeah, on, on occasion. I think oh, they're, he, they're driven by rebels that really want oh, to be... Oh man, he's uh, pinned. He's but he might even kill this thing because he had the, the armor-piercing rounds. He's going to flank out of the... Uh, no, he's just flying away. Oh man! Could he drove... That. that was really bad. So rather than just reversing, he actually like did a 180 uh, showing his butt to that 50 cal with That's the APM, APM uh, on. 
Although that's kind of weird how he was pinned and yet he was still monkey wanting a flag half track. Yeah. Um, it, sh it should have been fine though, even even with the pin, right? Like, shouldn't the flag have been able to maintain the pin, or was he just worried about getting forced off by something else? Well, it was firing despite being pinned. Right. And, and you see okay, it in yeah. against. You reckon it's enough shots? Yeah. You see it anyway, but normally yeah. like the accuracy and the rate of fire is so so low that it doesn't suppress anything. Yeah. But um, they could have killed that one. Yeah, and and maybe if he stayed there, he would have decrewed the gunner, but it was a bit of a risk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not really worth it, I don't think. Um. Anyway, going for an ISG because now he's worried about, you know, that, that, those 50 cals. Provide some nice displacement. Displacement's kind of the name of the game if you want to be moving this, this half track around, so at least forcing the EMGs out of position is going to give it a lot more. Make it a lot more viable. I are going to just go for Major now? Is that what you're thinking, or...? I guess after you go double 50 cal, which is going to be real unfortunate when the ISG comes out, so... Yeah, yeah it's either that or he could go uh, his other tier, get get an AT gun and then go Calliope. Yep. Because that's pretty strong. He's got a blob of LM... if he gets a blob of LMGs, some AT guns, uh, and then a Calliope. Yeah. That can be quite deadly. Especially if he's, if he's, he's versing an MG, he's versing an ISG. That's pretty good um, targets for a Calliope. Fairly even VP, 465 for OKW 400 pace man. Sort of losing a bit of early territory control. Ooh, in bad position though. That bottom garrison, if uh, Cashman can actually hold it, does give you good priority over those bottom VPs. It's a very stacked bottom side of the, the map. A lot going on there with the fuel and the munitions. So. Well, I was reading through patch notes from February. And, I mean, it was the winter balance preview, so I don't know if that ended up being launched in the end or not, but one of the things was um, Panzerfaust speed, de projectile speed decreased from 55 to 25 in, a, in an attempt to fix the bug where the Panzerfausts bring you dishonor. Oh, they, yeah. they sometimes Thanks. miss. So I don't know if they actually fixed it or not. And I want to see, because it probably looks really silly if it's like slowly floating through the air. Yeah, but hey, if, better if it works, than it bringing you dishonor, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, bring a mine down. Let's see if there's vision of that. No, he cancelled it. Yeah, cancelled it. Boss, we're gonna get vision once they garrison. All sectors, all sectors. Ability now ready. Pretty nasty incendi. ISG has now been revealed. Said the second 50 cal got cancelled, just two 50 cals on the field now. Oh, cache man. Oh, he doesn't retreat that 50 oh. cal, he leaves it there. <laughs> it is flanked, yeah, but the uh, the Vox can't really. Okay, he's gonna go for the Faust here. Mm. Oh no, and the M20 turning on the spot. Uh, it does survive, and it's actually behind the little tree here, so the Raketan can't get the shot. The Raketan's forced off by some riflemen. The MG trying to reface. He's actually gonna get the reface off. I don't think these riflemen are going to be able to continue this flank. There's just too many squads on the field. They just stop and try and decur. I think it's the best choice. Instant suppression, though. There are three squads here. Suppression's going to oh, come down man. really quickly. And the uh, retreat onto the MG, so. That was so well played. Yeah, really well played. Yeah, that was great. Stim Pioneers there at point blank range. You had a stun grenade coming through. Now, he didn't kill anything, but it was definitely a bit of manpower bleed there. And that, that MG34 was firing at that, that M20 for so long and got Vet 2 from yeah, that. Two. Didn't use the AP ammo at any point though, that, that maybe uh, would have killed it. Mm. Just saving it for more fouls, I suppose. Um, yeah, pretty long, you're right. Pretty long munitions. Um, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, keep in mind that it's it's important to consider the, the addition of other squads when it comes to suppression from MGs. They're great on their own, obviously, but the, the more shots that are getting fired at these squads, the, the, the higher the chance of early suppression, which you saw there was like really quick suppression onto one of the rifleman squads. Which just made that engagement work very well. It's very well played engagement. It's, that's one of those that's like worth rewatching. Yeah, one of them got suppressed before the other. Yeah. Only one was suppressed. Yeah. Uh, it is the major. Yeah, and only it's seven command points, so that Calliope would take quite a while. And we have the Panzer headquarters too. Man, my mouse was getting worse. I keep like. That's not me zooming in manually. That's right, okay, yeah. yeah. It's 
a, it's a mouse issue, so. Yeah. Gonna get a new one, or, uh, or is well, this, this, I, is I, this, uh, which mouse is this? Is this... This is the best this, one. Right, this is the clicky mouse still, so yeah. I mean, Remember the old, um, the old non-clicky mouse that you used to record silent with? Mouse. Silent mouse. Oh yeah, that maybe is that new. Silent mouse. Um... Like, I have, I have other mice, right. but... I really like yeah. this mouse. Yeah. Of course you have other mice. Yeah. Because we... <laughs> all that <laughs> me and Callum win in tournaments, uh, like RF land. Well, we've had to stop going because we actually each have a room in our house dedicated to just the mice that we win at tournaments. So we had to stop going to RF land. Um, otherwise, they were going to start overflowing from the room. It was going to be a bad time. So, but yeah, we always have mice. Pretty sure I haven't bought a, bought, like, a mouse in... Uh, six years despite having gone through several mice so. yeah and this, this is one of them yeah. but there were other mice that i didn't like that i got an yeah I, I also have ones i don't like i i, I tolerate because normally the mouse doesn't really matter that much it's, it's because i'm using the mouse button to move the camera around um you know we're like yeah. edge edge panning is like really awkward yeah, yeah. and you know, the other thing you can do is like mini map click yeah yeah you minimize your use of that so yeah it is an absolute art form, what Because you can't rebind the hotkey so, in, yeah. in Zero Hour. Yeah. Um, it's right click to map scroll. In StarCraft, it's, it's been on mouse, but you can, you can change it. Anyway. Just in case someone's like, why do you keep zooming in? Sorry. Non rebindable hotkeys is why. So, there's your answer. Yeah, blame it on Relic. It's their fault. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. More to carry. It's been a while, man. Um, they're good at clearing shoe mines. I'll give them that, but... Yeah, that's interesting. I think ne next next code cast, I'll just plug in a different mouse and use it. Yeah, well... Supply line just got cut off. Um, anyway. Oh, uh, I should have brought you some of mine. So ah. I still have a couple of extra, so... Yeah. Just you're, to flex. You're, you're, sorry? Just to flex. Yeah. Your, your grip has changed a little bit over the years. You used to use a very, very cool grip. Like you, you, the death adder? Yeah, yeah with the death adder, man. Adder. You had like the clawiest of all claw grips. It's friggin' nuts. I mean, it's kind of similar, though. Um, what is this? Yeah, it's, yeah. You're, you're slightly more palmy, though. Like, I, don't, I, I mean, your style of grip has changed. A bit. I don't remember what more says. As palmy as a chicken palmy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Palmy's a chicken palm. Pretty palmy. It's been a while since I've had chicken palmy. All the pubs are shut, mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rough. Australians are having a, a very bad time with our mental health. You can't get chicken palmy. pubs are closed, uh, yeah. A pint and palmy? Yeah, a pint and palmy, mate, so yeah. yeah $15 pint and palmy special, Have Tuesday nights. Time. How you going? Uh, of course, chicken parmigiana is what we are referring to. Pint, chicken parmigiana. Doesn't have the same ring to it. No, not so much. It's much harder to fit on a small board. Oh, here we go. Advertising special ha as well. I got so. a special for you, Blake. For $19, <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a pint, a palmy, and a P4. Oh, I'll take a pint, a palmy, and a P4. That sounds all right. E e e e yeah. <laughs> that that would have worked better if I waited 10 seconds until he built it, and then I could have scrolled over to the camera. Just just you wait until it's ready. I'd love a wait. pint, a palmy, and a P4. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Sit, hop. Save your keen, Blake. All right, save, save your keen. Ready? And I know it's difficult yeah. for you to do that. All right, would you like a pint of palmy and a P4? Oh, I'd love a pint of palmy and a P4. Oh, that's very quick service as well. Like normally it takes me like at least like 10, 15, at least 15 minutes to get a palmy out. And you've managed to get me a, a Panzer four in like 20 seconds. That's that's pretty good. I Ooh. I I appreciate the uh, German war machine pumping out those P4s. Really nice. I mean, this is the issue, right? Like, um, oh, he has some Zook Echelon, but yeah, they're very guess, wounded. Yeah, and it's not like the, the Howitzer Mortar character can participate in this fight. Like, the, the shots can hear. I mean, it's not ideal, but it can participate. Um, yeah, so the Echelon have Zook, have Zooks, plural, and the the uh, left hand has a Zook. So yeah, he's not without AT, but also hasn't um hasn't Captain Tech, so no AT guns. It's a bazooka bus minus the bus. The hmm. point is under attack. Uh, also, I think you can have two squads in a bus. Uh, Quadrazook. Almost got a nade off yeah. on that P4, so that, that could have gone very differently. As the strafe too, Ashman does. Yeah. Stand would be helpful. Ready for action. He's a little bit Ooh. too deep, but will actually manage to back out. A capture point is being overrun. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've oh. won the Calliope at this point. I think once you've gone to the Mortar Carriage, you're kind of committed to that line. So you gotta be careful of these mines, because if a bazooka detonates them, it could go very badly. Oh no! No! Yeah, that's that's gonna happen. He's just got too many squads. Kind of pushing Cashman's micro potential, I think, a little bit. Too many squads of rifles to look at. The old US late game multitasking issues. That's gonna connect. What's this coming from? That's Artie, it's Major Artie. It's gonna connect as well. Ah, oh, this is there. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, that MG definitely retreated oh, late. No. If that first shell was on target, that, that could have been some, some white potential. They actually went for the scout car, so he wants to get that sight range. Yep. Our sector has been cut off it's gonna help out the P4 chain. quite a lot. Scouting out where the Zooks are in particular is gonna be really important, so the P4 can find better engages. M20's been out in the field for a long time, so it's, mines are a fairly big danger. Aggressive mines, the input has been roving wherever. I don't think it's put down a lot of mines, but you still got to think it's an issue. Oh man, even the scout car can die for this. Yeah, it's pretty low, man. Oh, he's locking down. He's using it as a, as a fuel point. Ah, fuel okay. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, they dig that, I guess. How easy, I wonder how easy it would be for the mortar carriage to displace that. Pretty easy, you would assume, but... Yeah, I don't see any M20 mines, because they're both... Wait, that's a shoe mine. Yeah, they're both there. shoes, I think, so, yeah. They're, um, yeah, he's really committed to that, that point, wanting to bait something over it. So. Probably don't... wasn't expecting a mortar carriage, though, so... I don't see any mines. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't see any either. You just got to assume that they're there, but it's it's mainly been upgrade focus from Cash Man. Upgrades onto the rifles and the zooks, so... Okay, well, I could see a Calliope at any moment. I don't think we'll go for it, but yeah, it's possible. I think now he has the, the mortar carriage is kind of is committed to a different line. Like I think he, I think he needs a tank. Whoa, that was a nasty P4 shot. Oh yeah, that's a lot of models actually. I didn't see it, but I saw the five rifleman <laughs> icon drop to a two rifleman yeah. icon. That rifle squad have one one model remaining and two models running. So. Oh, there goes the M20. He's down. So. Yeah. Uh, wasn't it a major? Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, maybe it was the major running. So yeah, it's just just icon displacement. I wasn't sure. Okay, Jackson. That makes sense. Yeah, that's what zero fuel. Yeah. The man wants the Jackson. Yeah, it's understandable. Plenty of manpower in the bank. Um, could probably stand to go. Maybe he just waits. He could bank man. I think he's going to bank manpower and go captain here. Seems to make the most sense. Ooh. Munitions you kind of want to save for strafes oh. at this point. I think I was going to tap round Ooh, through nice. the smoke. He got one hit off. Good. Yeah, but now we can't chase through to the pack. Yeah. Jackson's going to be a pretty big problem for our OKW player. Looking to head into a Strumti guy as well. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. He has the Sturm Tiger. And that's going to be really good versus these MGs. Um, MG, there's no pack outs or anything, but two MGs, especially just a blob of LMG. Yeah, yeah, man, it'll be good. Yeah. They're, they're, they're easy to get there, so because they're paths, they're less mobile. Yeah, this is deep. It's going to force the mortar carriage to uh, move as well. So. Jackson, five seconds too late to get the grenade off. Yeah. Could have almost uh, dived the, in the Ambo. I think chilling with his Jackson makes the most sense. Um, you really want to reveal it, you want to try and get a line on this Panzer IV. He's going to get one here, this is a really good line actually. Oh, he oh, fires buddy, the no! boss it is. Yeah, oh, but he hit, he hit an M20 mine. We were filthy yeah. liars when we said we couldn't find any mines. Oh, uh, okay. Because there was one right there and that was a fantastic okay, position. We are indeed filthy liars. We were too busy looking at the shoe mines to the right, so... It was it. Yeah. There wow. are still two shoe mines there, are there not? Yeah, okay. Really deep mine. So we're assuming it was an M20 mine. Like it was immobilized too. And not it was really bad luck and the Zook shot hit as the Panzer IV ran over the, the mine, in which case it'd be okay, W's fault anyway, so. Um, good trade. I think the Jackson's have been revealed though, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, This guy, rest in peace. I don't know what uh 
I guess it's just gonna be a stream target, man. I think that's just the best option. Oh, oh it's nasty. Uh, how to carriage only needs to be lucky once. So. Yeah, five kills, like three of them right there against the over over squad. So. That was one of those moments that went in slow motion because I knew what was gonna happen. Like yeah. I could see that yeah. trajectory. I knew there was gonna be dead overs. Yeah, we, we preemptively wince a lot in like Code 2 when we see stuff coming, so... Mainly it's to do with Panzer 4s and shots getting fired off. Or if they right click on a point, and you're like, yeah. no, don't right click on the point, that's how you clump. Oh man, like that, uh, clumping around the fences and yeah. stuff. Taking like a big damage. Of running in drains, he's the best play. But... Oh, he drops a, was that a bazooka? He can't no. get it with his vaults. No. You can grab uh, that with the could, yeah. Yeah, the overs maybe, if he wants it, which is probably better on the Sturms. Yeah, probably better on the Sturms. Uh, M20's better. not on the field anymore, yeah, I don't think you really want a, a mixed squad, so, yeah. Clips just getting on the Sturms makes a lot of sense. Yeah, <laughs> he backed off. Yeah, yeah, slightly safer field position. 261 VPs versus the 343 of Cashman. Very nice map control from Cage Man in the last 5 or 10 minutes, so looking good. Now let's keep an eye out Even with the, the rifle drops. Alright, Jackson. There needs to be another option that's like, don't prioritize vehicles. It's like when the, the half track sees a Jackson, it doesn't start firing its piddly little MG out and it just goes, No man, no, I'm good. I don't particularly want to be giving you vision on me, so. Does it even have prioritized vehicles? I don't think it does. Yeah, we, we, there were some things that didn't when you really wanted them to, remember? So. I know the, the Austin does, I think. Right. Actually, that's, I contradict myself. I know it does, I think. I guess it doesn't. Huh. There's some really dumb stuff that didn't have it. Um, I can't remember what. With the Austin? Yeah. Because that because you kill like right, a T-34 with yeah, rear that was arm. Dumb, so yeah. You know, um, I mean, I guess even other, other bigger things. If you have rearm with Austin, like, yeah. you, can, you can kill things. It's like a final Done shot. Yeah. You know, you get th three AT gun shots and an AT, AT grenade or a Panzerfaust. It's like pretty low. Right, so the opening of this Sumtega should be a wiped MG. I'm guessing, but it's not set up, so that's maybe not. Yeah. Well, he's... Oh, that was a bad flank. He flanked it. Shouldn't have done that. Now you've revealed it. How are you gonna get wiped now? You need to make sure this Jackson's at full health. Yeah. Because I don't remember how much damage it does, but it'll get a low. I think it'll one shot this, this Scott. Yeah, the Scott's, the Scott's got to be really careful. Um, that's why this Swimtig is still a good choice. Is like it does negate the ability of the, the Scott to just keep firing. It kind of stays stationary. So it's just it, it's it's putting more uh, micro pressure on Cashman. That's the thing we mean by right click on points. Oh. Yeah. Oh, two shots off there. So now he could maybe just dive the ambo and kill it with his Sturm Tiger. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, because the Jackson is like not going to be anywhere near it. Man, Cashman didn't back tech. That's really weird. He's, he's floating like 15,000, no, 1,500 manpower on like 57 pop caps. So it's like, it's just odd. Oh, like back teching just makes sense here. It's like such a small investment. I mean, I get that fuel's important, but... Like, what to get to get? Yeah, AT there guns. we go. About freaking time. Yeah, man, to get AT guns. Like, yeah, or to just get anything, just to have access to it. It's less useful now the swim is on the field, but it's been useful for the last six minutes of back there. Oh, There's he's gonna foul this. Oh, but he kills the Fauster. Oh, and he gets suppressed. That oh, was so clutch. Oh, that's rough. Thank you, how it's a carriage. You just saved your your, your bro Jackson. Yeah. But this swim tiger now, he must be looking for something here. Yeah, I mean, surely he looks some pressure at this go. point. It's, it's, Where's the danger at? I guess, I guess the danger is another M20 mine, how you lost the B4, so... That's true. Um, That's true. Does smoke off the uh, the MG. I think he's gonna go for it. Like, why not? I think this is the right play. Um, oh, is he gonna go for this MG? He's no. behind, oh. man. Like, he's gonna Cancels miss. It. Yeah. Um, you're behind at this point, I think. I don't think... Stream Tiger, without taking shots, can't create enough pressure for the OKW to get back into this game. He needs to actually use it proactively. That's true. Ply oh. cool. All right, so this is the this is the ignore Strum Tiger play. Um, he's just going to play on VPs. Coachman just wants to try and close this one out with VPs. The the the, um, the Calliope does create enough pressure that he should be able to hold the south um, or like transition to the north. Okay, he's firing wipe. it. It's pretty spread out. Yeah, it does yeah, wipe it. Wipe. 
Okay, not, not bad. Paying attention. It is yeah, a pretty, pretty squad. probably the worst squad because yeah. it, it was like the lieutenant yeah. with the bazooka wasn't going to really do that much. But one wipe's better than zero wipes. Yeah. And speaking of wipes, we have the Calliope firing into the the base. Is it? Where, no, uh, the no, MG. Oh, and the so. ISG too. Oh, pretty good. Oh, MG not barely quite. gets out. ISG also yeah. barely survives. It's all unfortunate. I think you'd expect one wipe there, but. Um, good pressure still. Again, you know, it's just, it's just forcing reinforcements. It's kind of the point of the Calliope, but it does mean Cashman's going to have to get some more units in the field and start spending this manpower. He needs more pressure. Like, I like the rifles. So this should be a while ago. The rifles is good. Um, admittedly, keeping your pop cap quite low, um, somewhat strategic, if you're getting more income but, um, for, the, for the later stages of the game. But doing the rifles now, I think, is the, is the right call. You need, to, you need to keep the pressure up on the victory points and currently... W has two of those. Yeah, he has an extreme, extremely blobbable unit. He's got the LMG rifleman. He can just pump those out and just, yeah. get him those those strong weapons. Yeah. Give him a blob attack move. Just start throwing like throwing the Z zero ones near the Stream Tiger. Like this HMG. Oh, he's gonna get wiped. Nice. Yeah. He got the, the gunner just at the right time. He could delay the retreat by a little bit. A nice um, positioning on the, the shot from the Storm Tiger as well. It was a little bit back towards the retreat path. It was well predicted. Yeah, really nice. This is a little bit of an art form. The Storm Tiger does, it, does have, of course, have to acquire the target first before shooting at the troops. It does require a, a little bit of predictive work. Uh, I don't see a Cageman ever killing this thing. It doesn't seem like it's just going to be map pressure. What happened to that bazooka? It must have been recaptured by Cageman. I'm not sure. I don't see Check any OKW stuff. I guess, so. well, they don't have it. Yeah, yeah they don't have no, it. One, no one has it. There we go. So we got well, the, the right major and... has a bazooka. So there you go. So oh, that's, that's true. probably how the major got it. So we're assuming. Bazooka pickup service. Didn't get an LMG though, that's on the rough end, so interesting. Mm. If he's just going to use the Strum Tiger fodder, that, get, that makes sense, I guess. So, he doesn't want to save the strafe, it's still useful. So is the, uh, the uh, recon. Okay, he's retreating, and yeah. he cancels. Um, okay, this, this, uh, this attack, the left hand side's nice. You need to kind of you, you need to create enough pressure to stop the stream tiger from just camping those bottom two VPs. You need to create enough pressure in the north that it's like either you have, well either you need to have such a solid hold that OKW doesn't even whoa, whoa, pressure whoa. it anymore, or you have to. This is a white. It must have been a Volk squad. Yeah, Volk squad. Nice, good white. That uh, either OKW doesn't go for it and just goes for the, the right hand side VPs, or at least create enough pressure that forces the stream tiger to to. Rotate. Either way, you, you have to be holding this. So forcing rotation. So those VP gainers are going to work. He's got the mechanized truck, so he has all three tech structures. However, he can't get the King Tiger with the Storm Tiger on the field. But he could he could replace it if this if this uh, Storm Tiger dies. Yeah. King Tiger might be a better option. Um, we should go a Panzer two here. It's a real lack of. Uh, of uh, AT on the side of Cashman. I think I think um, P2 works. Even with the bazooka threat, I think P2 still works. On the left hand side. Mm. You just you just play with the P2, it just puts pressure on this VP and prevents it from being held by MGs. You have enough vaults. You have like we did have enough vaults, but I think even now there's enough pressure to be forcing things off as long as you can displace MGs with the P2. At the moment he has no way to displace the MG. Not safely. If you try using the um, ISG to displace the MGs, you're gonna lose it to the Calliope. Um, the P2 is gonna be a much more mobile way to deal with the that. So, so there you go. So there's the there's a rotation from the Storm Tiger. So that what that should signal is like immediately Cashman should be moving on the right hand side to take that second VP. He forced a rotation, which is good. But he's not. He's not. He needs to, yeah, which he is. He's now pushing to take the uh, the right hand side VP. The VP pressure is really important the way he's playing this game. Yeah, this is the kind of game that's like really stressful to play as yeah. for for the allies because you're a split second away from just getting wiped by the yeah. Storm Tiger. And you, you really and, want to try uh, to get the VPs because like the late game is going to be like really iffy. Yeah, this is going to be hell. Like, it, you really need it. Cashman really needed to be like in like 30 VPs of a stronger position right now. Like, he needed 
Um, the OKW to be on like 100 BPs because now the Panther's going to come up. Once once he full pop caps, it's going to be really difficult for Cage Man to win. Okay, very deep Doom Tiger play. Uh, Jackson is in the right side. Oh, Jackson. He's being repaired in the face. Okay. Uh, doesn't find anything though with this Doom Tiger. Yeah, calls the bluff, man. Like, oh, no, he's gonna call the bluff again. There's, there's minimum he's range to that. He's bad dodged boy. it. Oh no! Oh, just kidding. Surely he dodged that. Ugh. He must have like really preemptively aimed yeah, it it's, forward. Yeah, the uh, the the Shroom Tiger like shots have been really on point. Um, that was pretty sick. It's not so easy, but yeah, I, I, I thought Cashman had made the right play there, man. I would have gone for that. Like, just, just, I think you would have been safe. Like, oh, the mine. Oh, oh, the oh mine. brutal. Oh, the counter wipe. I love it. Nice wow. cage, man. Good. Yeah, so yeah. with that play, um, he would have had to preemptively aim the Sturm Tiger yeah. about five seconds in advance. So that was that was really, really impressive. Uh, loses the Sturm Tiger. Uh, sorry, the Sturm Pioneers. The Pioneers yeah. uh, he does at least have this repairing thing. With the nice. mechanics. Nice. That was a good move, yeah. Repair Pioneers. It actually sh shaves up some pop cap. Otherwise, the, uh, the Bazooka ship was going to start to be a problem on those tanks, but... Oh, Basically. let's one zook down. Oh, he's gonna yeah, lose the it's a wipe as well. He actually leaves. He leaves the bazooka. He's gonna oh, die anyway. Oh, why are you anyway. moving? There's well, no chase with Oversoldarded. Oh, 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 what is this LMG doing? Oh, he's made a mess of it. No, you got it though. Oh, come on. Well, they, they, yeah. they can shoot while moving, unlike most squads, yeah. the LMGs. But, yeah, I feel yeah, like so that true. Was, I think was the better play there. <laughs> would have been a little cleaner if he just stood still. Yeah. But that's okay. I think that would have been a much cleaner. You got it. That was the most undeserved wipe I've seen in the year. <laughs> Come on, man. You even, like, missed the on-retreat nade. You should feel ashamed of yourself, OKW player. You're better than this. Your Strum Tiger micro on point. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So, is it, well, oh, yeah, I was going to say. It's either second Jackson or second Calliope is what I was going to say before, but we got into the memes, so... Um, it's second Calliope here from Cage Man. Uh, that's, that's cool. It's fine. Again, it's just more pressure. Um, so, just going to try to create enough any infantry pressure that you can right hold two BPs. That's, that's the only goal, is holding two BPs. Okay, Sturm and the Panther. Having the Sturm Tiger in front is really good. You know what? Gonna soak some damage up for that Panther. Fast the retreat. Is he going for this? Nope, he retreats. He has actually hit the grenades too. So now he has another way of forcing off HMGs. So you can just diving Panther. drive up to it. Against a Jackson. There's no AP ammo. However, he's using the high explosive, the AP ammo, on the Panther. Oops. So this Jackson's very outgunned. Now he's hit the vet one for the heave-app rounds. With this Jackson getting very low. Will he survive behind the building? Gets Look, one nice cheeky shot. shot. Nice oh, he's turning to shoot the Sherman. Oh, no. Oh, re-engaging. There's, There's a bazooka, bazooka from the Major. Nice, and he flanks the turret as well. Oh, oh man, get this turret. That was nice, Micro. One more shot from the Jackson, I think. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be. One. He I might miss though. Shot. He does, miss. does miss. He had the Blitzkrieg, so he actually had a, a received accuracy uh, buff. Well, he, dude, he reconned as well, like for vision. Like you can't really. He needed to do that earlier, but that was a cool move. Okay, this Jackson's very low, and there's a vet for your raquette. So that's where you need to hold fire in that yeah. situation. Uh, if he if he hold fire, if he held fire, he wouldn't have tracked the the Sherman. You don't really think about it in that moment. Yeah, that was some pretty sick micro on that Jackson. Yeah, that was great. That was, that was really well executed. I like that the move back in to like semi block because the bazooka shots were coming in. That was Ooh. really good. Flyp is probably one of my, my one of my favorite artillery units. Like, like there's a degree of consistency, right? Like you can go for the short range barrage, but like oh. if your opponent is super reactive, good dodge. If your opponent's super reactive, um. Like, if they retreat, because the, the barrage is so consistent, um, if your retreats are on point, you like you don't get the squad wipe most of the time. Um, whereas, you know, it still has the utility thing, where it's like, if you're firing further away, you can cover a bigger area, but you're not going to get wipes. Um, it's good. And you can compare that to, like, the Stuka barrage that just wipes things. Unless it hits a tree. Yeah, it does zero damage. Yeah. Like, Rats. like honestly, I don't know why they've even made the Stuka like a small skill thing by like putting it in like a an oval shape. What they should have done is like is put dots down. It's just like shell lands here, 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 and here. Place spot on squad if you would like to back it. Yeah, um, in Co One, the yeah. Stuka scatters. It's not like a perfect line. Oh yeah. man, this German's too far forward with no HP. Yeah, One hundred percent. Yeah, he has no way to escape this. Oh, he gets it. That was a bit one like as well. 
Yeah, not yeah. not very consistent with um, moving back his artillery after he fires. Kind of just moves up, takes his shots, and just leaves it there, which is is not smart play. German Sherman, do you recommend you move your Shermans back after they fire? Where is that uh, cooldown? Well, that's a strafe, that's actually. A strafe. Let's see how this one goes. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's a mana strafe! Alright. Lord! 2020 <laughs> yeah. OP skill planes still exist in <laughs> Company of Heroes. Yeah. Hero Balance. Hero Balance! Alright, good mana strafe there from Cashman. Exchanging munitions for a squad. <laughs> sort of love to see. Would we'll leave an Was that a full health? Ground. I wasn't sure. No, was man, no, no, no. It wasn't that bad. It was like it was like three quarter health. It pretty much had dropped a model. Like, it only really wiped. It only really wiped two models. So it was like, it did look pretty ridiculous, but only because the squad wasn't full health. All right. Um, still an absolute murder strafe. Though. Good smoke. Ninety-seven. Oh, pro nade, pro nade. Oh, this, that's the frangible. Come on. That's, isn't that the wrong grenade? Because it blocks a vision. Yeah, right? that's the wrong nade. Again. I press the wrong yeah. button. Yeah. Uh, three strikes and you're out, OKW player. We'll pick your replay if you fail your on retreat nade again. I mean, I'm pretty sure it blocks obscure's line of sight. Yeah, yeah. that was the wrong grenade, 100. Yeah. percent Does it even kill? Does okay. that kill? Well, let's look like at this phosphorus? one. There's the Jackson and the Panther phasing through each other. He has to hold fire this one, make sure it doesn't fire at the Scott. Oh, he does. People there nice. also. He phases again. The double whammy. Double phase. Do we get a triple phase? Can we get the the triple? No, oh, the, the line of sight's blocked. I think. Yeah, I think it was oh. by the trees. Okay. And Jackson, what is this Jackson Jackson's, pointing at? Uh, move the Goliath, man. Come on. You gotta be active. Like, it's almost in, in fast rage. The second shot comes out. Mage is actually still firing with the bazooka, but I'm pretty sure the Panther isn't low enough for that to be an issue. Let's get out of range. MD doesn't switch on the ammo. It doesn't really matter. Um, Panther has a lot Whoa, of health. Oh, there's a Sherman. Yeah, Sherman coming in against the Panther 4. Panther 4 will be preventing dives. Oh, it's actually a nade. damage engine. Sick nade from the rifleman. Jackson has the rear armor, yeah. but where's the Panther? No, he's, he's very scared. Yeah, he's pretty scared. I don't know if you can take this one. Maybe if you flank the Jackson again. Another rear armor. It's not gonna matter. You're not gonna take the P4 at this point. Yep, there it is, out of control. Rifleman, oh, but not Vet 1, so no AT grenade. So Panthers should be able to walk away from this one and at least oh, get Oh, this is a Vox Squad 2, oh, all kinds of infantry wipes. Yeah. There's yeah. a Raketan on the ground. The Sturmtaker hasn't fired yet. Bit of mismanagement here, both players are going to be losing squads during that engagement. The Definitely Sherman. seems like Cashman's come out ahead, though. The Sherman has full health, he could go really deep here. He could take one Faust. Yeah. <laughs> this Panther gets rear armor. Oh, you need to face that thing up. Whoa, what did he fire at? Oh, he's rifle and he didn't get, a, didn't get a wipe there. One model. Wow. So in that situation, like, having the Calliope forward actually would have helped. Because then it meant the Panther didn't fire at the Jackson. Yeah, right. If it retargeted across, yeah. And the the key quali- Man, that repairs so fast! Um, the, the key qualifier there is that the, the Calliope had full health. The, the other Calliope had, like, half health. Man, what crazy repair speed. Oh, but he wipes the Woo! ISG! Sniper! Still on um, HE ammo. But now he's popped the AP ammo on the Panther. Jackson is on the field and he's actually firing at this with his own AP ammo. This is a great setup. I see your AP ammo and I raise you one. He's really still firing at the Sherman. It's bad for the Panther, man. It's rear armor on the Jackson. This is a really good micro. Ah, uh, man, gun destroyed though. That could be a problem. Let's see if he smokes. Nope, no smoke yet. Panther still hasn't retargeted. He gets the Sherman, but not worth it if he loses it to this yeah. Jackson. Yeah, one more shot from the Jackson. He's going to lose vision here. Is oh, he recon man. ahead of time this time, is what I'm thinking. The clutch building. Panther's going to try and juke. All. The Panther's already facing the oh, right man, the direction. Jukes! Nope, he missed it a little bit, and now uh, he will go down. Yeah. Yikes. I guess you need to keep moving and get your shot off before the turret turn on the Jackson. Even you were still two shots to one, but yeah, Jackson wins that one. That was a good engagement. I mean, like, it's just, just again, it's just classic tank movement, man. So you got your Sherman forward to take the shots and Jackson in the back. I mean, you're going to win that most of the time. Even if you stuff up the micro a little bit. Man, that game was a real blood. This game has turned into a real blood. Bar. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, 61 VPs now. Which is kind of important that VPs were ticking in uh, case oh, that's during true. these engagements. Oh, that's another HMG wipe, wipe on the exact same spot. That's nuts. Um, again, like Cage Man is the is the man with manpower at this point, so he's going to be able to replace this one a little bit more easily. Uh, big repairs going down as well. And nothing on the side of oh, okay, I mean to actually chase these things down. The Storm Tiger's still in the game, but um, squad wipes are um, mattering less and less now. It's like 55 VPs. This, this game is not going much longer. 
Vet four Obers. More Obers are being built. It's pretty nuts. Rafa's gonna lose this real hard. They should retreat. Ah, oh, there's an MG. This is better. Goodbye, Obers. Well, one squad of vaults. Yeah. Rebuilding Obers. Interesting. The less vaults there are, the Jackson has more free reign. There also, yep. there's, there actually is this Arakhead. I'm looking at you recapture that one from somewhere. There's two bazooks there, there's two HMGs there. Uh, he can salvage. So that yeah. might be worth doing. Worth a move, worth a consideration. Um, slightly closer to additional tank. Oh, okay, W. Oh. Three HMGs! The HMG nice. graveyard! Yeah, it's bad. Do not go here. Too close to Calliope. Someone needs to take some time oh, to put another a HMG. Sign. This is a bad score. game it's to be a HMG. Wipe, yeah, it's nasty. Oh. That's just, that's pretty, that was, it was the furthest model, so, um, yeah, okay, survives again. Okay, there Rocky. is a Jackson on the field, Volk's gonna go down, yeah, he has two, it's a bar right. and an LMG, but he's not targeting the Volk squad, oh, where a Raketan shot comes through, he has to reload this Doomwrecker, so he can't fire, he's trying to force off the Raketan, he's getting some pretty nasty shots off. It's gonna be another shot coming through, he misses it, however. It's pretty good chip damage, three PVPs now, for, uh... AW. This uh, rifles are going to be prioritizing uh, forcing off of this Raketan. And yeah, that was not okay. worth it. Yeah, yeah. That would have been the last Volk squad. Yeah, yeah, I think that was that was pretty worth a wipe. Vet 5, I think that was that was a pretty worthwhile. Still having this half track's nice. Um, it's good pressure again. It's going to be up against a Sherman. Looks like another Panther is going to come out here. There's a manpower problem. Um, there's just no time really, like, that's, that's the problem. Cashman's um, VP strategy has actually worked out really well. It's just, there's too much time pressure on okay, W to actually build a panther here. Look at that tasty clump. Yeah. I'd wipe that most Would days you? of the week. Yeah, yeah, I'd wipe that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Jesus, look at the clump, man! They're even clumping behind the heavy cover! Ooh, let's see if this thing dies and I have to smoke. Very clump. Very clump. Sherman ready. Okay, what about if you were a Calliope, would you wipe that? Yeah, yeah. Look out of my pants. What about, what about Depends, am I a Calliope? Calliope? I'm not a Calliope in the north, I'm a Calliope in the, on the right hand side, so... Oh man. In the wrong spot. The frame rate really tanked as I zoomed in on the smoke. Oh, the, was that a white force? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Water. Oh, the, the they were just frame. smoking off to, to get the cap down, but it's just gonna get recaptured, so whatever. Could have actually booby trapped. Uh, yeah. This oh. push is really important. Um, I think it's from Tiger. I don't know if it's from Tiger Shot went off there or if that was the Calliope. It was Calliope. Right, okay. It's like no wipes, but got some, some damage. Right, really needs to capture these VPs now. Like, All right. Get on the point! He has the rocket attack. Get on the point! Jackson has to be really careful. Even the yeah. Calliope could get focused. It doesn't matter if What does he go is. for? He's, He's going for the Calliope. Is. He's ignoring the Jackson. Down goes. That Calliope, but now there's a, a Vet 3 Jackson, and actually a yeah, mate, no, that's a Strafe! Yeah. He wipes the Raketan, the Storm Tiger has nowhere to run, Panther only now started being built. Yeah. GG is GG. called. Oh, I actually had no VPs anyway, yeah. so <laughs> the double GG. Yeah, double GG, just didn't have a squad at the point. Yeah, cool, nice game. Um, that was just a, a good example from Cageman of, of VP, VP pressure over actually winning engagements. He did end up winning engagements, but there was a couple of times there where the Jackson should have been real dead and wasn't, so... Um, <laughs> I gotta love phasing, I guess. <laughs> we didn't get the, the, the triple whammy phase uh, for the Jackson yeah. ability. Um, really nice Trim Tiger Micro. Good shot, Micro. Um, <laughs> that was a fun game, though. It was a fun was... game. I enjoyed that. I'm glad it turned into a bit of craziness at the end. They're always a little bit more fun Yeah. When games do that. Um, yeah, VP pressure works. Again, the, the Calliope's just... There's just a lot of white potential there. We saw a lot of squads just went down. So. Look at this ball of HMG. <laughs> Stepping sees over all his... other HMGs, sees big craters. Yeah, this seems like a good place to set up. So. Um, ah, thank you for joining us, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the Code 2 Shoutcast. GG. We enjoyed bringing it to you. Catch you later.